In this video, I'm going to show you the strategy of playing par threes. Now, typically when you're new to golf, a par three will probably be one of the first holes you par. The shortest holes in the golf course, if you can get it close and chip it on and hold the putt, happy days. But weirdly, as you get better at golf, par threes start to come a little bit harder. You start to question ourselves a bit too much. Now, typically in an 18 hole round of golf, there'll be about three or four par threes that you're likely to play. So executing your par threes and playing them well is absolutely crucial. I'm going to show you three very key points you have to consider when playing par threes. So there's three things you need to know when you come to a par three. The first off is figuring out the hole. Every time you come to a par three, it might be a hole you've played before, it'll be different. There's four things that could change. First off, the wind. Is it into wind? Is it downwind? Is it off the left, off the right? You have to bear that in mind. Number two is the temperature. Is it a cold day or is it a warm day? Typically the ball doesn't travel as far when it's cold. It might travel a little bit further when it's warm. Things to consider. The next thing as well is the actual hole setup itself. The tee location might have changed. It moves up or, up or down on the tee. That's going to affect the distance and also the flag on the green. One week it might be at the front, another week it might be at the back. You add those four things together, that's how you come up with your distance for the shot in hand today. Now there's things that you can use, things like GPS watches, things like range finders. You can even get apps on your phone that will give you distances to the hole. And the last thing, just to bear in mind, if the hole is uphill, it's going to play a little bit longer. If it's downhill, it's going to play a bit shorter. Once you've established all those things, you then know your distance, which leads us very nicely into number two. Now that you've worked out your distance, you need to work out your club that you're going to hit. Now, if you don't know your distances of the club you hit, you might have been putting it off, you might not have time to do it, this is the time to do it now. There's a few things you can do. Go to a driving range, maybe book time with a golf professional, even doing it out on the golf course. You need to know how far you carry each of your clubs in your bag. It's so important, it'll massively help you reduce your score. Now, for me on this hole, I know the distance that I've got, with it being slightly downwind, I'm going to hit my seven iron. The other thing to consider is knowing where you can potentially miss. So for me, I can't miss long on this hole, so I'm not going to choose a club that's going to make me hit long, so I'm going to short side myself. And the final thing you need to know, number three, is the shot you're going to play. Each hole is going to have hazards, obstacles, things that you've got to avoid, but also it's going to have space where you can hit into the friendlier spaces. Now for this hole, for example, there's a bunker to the right I don't want to go towards. The hole is sloping slightly left to right, so I can actually afford to aim slightly left of the flag. If I draw it on a hole like this, it's going to more likely bounce to the right towards the flag. And if I do fade it or push it, it's actually going to work slightly closer to the flag. So number three is to know your shot. Know what shot you're going to hit. Let it play into your advantage as well of your shot shape. Do you fade it? Do you draw it? So important. And then finally, pick your line. You've done all the equations and all of this is done very fast as well once you get really good at it. You know your equations for distance. You've picked your club, you've picked your weapon because you know your distance. You know where to aim, you know the shot to hit. And then the last thing is just to stand behind the ball, pick out a line. For me, I'm gonna aim just to the left of the flag as a tree in the distance of conifer. I'm gonna aim right at the top of that. That's gonna be perfect for my line. I'm gonna set up, have a practice swing where I visualize the perfect golf shot. I can picture that perfect hit. And then with confidence, I know I've done everything I can to hit the best golf shot into this par three. And I'm ready to pull the trigger. That started exactly where I've wanted to hit it. And that is safely onto the green. It's actually kicking slightly to the right. And we have got an opportunity for birdie. If not, it's going to be a safe two putt par. Par threes, enjoy them. I love par threes. I think it's a chance to really be creative and hit something that's quite special. And it'll help you play better golf. Take those three things into consideration. Make sure you like the video. And that's how you're going to play par threes much better. We'll see you next time.